Hi there, it's Jennifer. Today I am going to do a tutorial on a braided bun. Um, basically what we're going to do is start a braid, a French braid from this side all the way over and then we're going to finish with a bun right here. Um, so I like to start on the side that my bangs are on but you can start on whichever side you like. So we will start by taking out some hairs. I just like to have a few hairs along the side and then we'll start French braiding our hair all the way to the side. And you can do thin sections, you can do thicker sections, all depends on the look that you'd like. Start bobby pinning. Okay, just until you feel like it's secure, I'll just do a couple more. There we go. And then we can kind of pull some out, stretch it out a little bit just so that there is that volume on the side. I see a little hair poking out. Okay, now with the braid on the back, I'm also going to just loosen that up a little bit. you don't want that part to be tight and then this part to be kind of loose. You can also take a hair elastic if you feel like it's not going to stay. Make sure all the bobby pins <laughs> don't come out. And just wrap that hair elastic around it. Yep, and then stretch it all out. Some bobby pins are poking in my head. Let's do this. I'll section the tain down. And we'll stretch it out. There we go. I'm just going to grab my mirror and take a look. <coughs> Thank you. 
I'm just going to bobby pin that section. If you feel like the braid, um, if you have layered hair like I do, and you feel like the braid part is going to come out, you can always just bobby pin right in the braid section. Take another quick look, sorry. I get just a little more poofy. There we go. Little more poofy. I have some loose hairs. I think I might just bring my bangs to the side. Maybe I'll back on that. For a more romantic type look. You can have your bangs down or have them back like I do. I'm just gonna put that section back here. It's a little too much. And there we go. So pretty easy. Really pretty. Braided bun. Um, so a little bit of hairspray and yeah, you can use this for a wedding, for a date, um, a prom, you know, any kind of formal event. So I hope you enjoy this and thank you so much for watching. You can also find other beauty tips and hair tutorials on my blog, which is beautyunder10.blogspot.ca. Thank you so much for watching.